Hi everyone, in this video I will be discussing how to select an acquisition strategy. In other words, how do we choose between buying, custom developing, or outsourcing our new system. The learning objectives of this video are as follows. Students should be able to describe the basic factors that affect acquisition strategy decisions. And secondly, they should be able to describe some tools associated with acquiring software. In the last video we talked extensively about the pros and cons of each of the three acquisition strategies. I really like this figure from the textbook that breaks down when to use each of the three depending on five key factors that are shown there in the first column. The business need, the in-house experience, project skills, project management, and time frame. I won't bore you by going through and reading each of the cells in this table, but take a minute and pause the video and make sure that you understand how each of these factors will affect your decision to develop, purchase, or outsource your system. If you have any questions about these, please post in the forum and we can have a nice class discussion about how to choose the right acquisition strategy. As you're thinking about which of the three options to pursue, or a combination of the three, you need to collect some key information. What tools and technologies are needed for a custom development project? What vendors make products that address the project needs? And what service providers would be able to build this application if it's outsourced? These are the key questions that should drive your decision. If you decide to purchase or outsource some of your system, you'll need to create one or more requests for proposal, or RFP. RFPs solicit proposals from vendors, developers, or service providers. They explain the system to be built and criteria for selecting among applicants. The idea is that you write up a document similar to the system proposal that we did in the analysis phase and you send it out to one or more vendors or developers or service providers asking for them to return to you a proposal of how they would complete the work and at what cost. A request for information or RFI is a shorter and less detailed version of an RFP. A request for quote or RFQ is what you use when you just need a price. RFQs are used more commonly when you are purchasing a prepackaged software from a vendor. More detailed RFPs are more often used when you're going to outsource some work to a service provider. What's included in an RFP, or the shorter versions RFIs or RFQs? A request for a proposal should include a description of the desired system, special technical needs or circumstances, evaluation criteria, and instructions on how to respond, along with the desired schedule and other information that will help the submitter to make a more complete or accurate proposal. If you're having trouble deciding on an acquisition strategy, one tool that might be helpful is an alternative matrix. An alternative matrix combines several feasibility analyses into one matrix. It includes technical, economic, and organizational feasibilities. For each criteria, you assign weights to indicate its relative importance to your organization. Finally, you assign scores to indicate how well the alternative meets the criteria. You won't have to create an alternative matrix for your project in this class, but I would like you to look at this example alternative matrix to try to understand how it works. You'll see across the top there are several different alternative options. The first two options are developing the system in-house using either VB.NET or Java. And the third alternative is to purchase packaged software product ABC. In the first column is where you organize your different feasibility issues, technical, economic, and organizational. And you assign a weighted score to each of them for each of the alternatives. After weighing the different options with the different technical, economic, and organizational issues, it looks like this organization should probably choose Alternative 3 and purchase the prepackaged software because that is the alternative that had the highest score in the alternative matrix.